Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new here, my name is Jerenica Micea, but all my friends call me Chi. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. Do not forget to follow me over on Instagram for all of the fabulous updates. And come back each week for weekly uploads. So today's video, I think this is going to be a fun one because when I was changing over my closet from fall, winter to spring, summer, these pieces kind of like caught my eye and just got me so excited y'all and these are the pieces that I kind of like pulled to the forefront to kind of like really make sure I get my cost for wear and really use them because a lot of these pieces I kind of forgot about because maybe they just don't I don't have anywhere to wear them to or they just they don't really serve a purpose in a wardrobe but they're too good to let go so I'm gonna make sure I keep these on the forefront to kind of like wear them more and also I thought this would be fun because when I was like pulling things out it was kind of like oh my god I forgot about this I was just getting so excited and y'all know how I get when I talk about fashion I get a little too excited and I was like oh my god I think the girls would love to see some of these pieces let's just get right into the video because I can go on and on all right so first up I have a two-piece core set now when it comes to like spring summer months or even fall winter I've realized two-piece core sets matching sets that is my thing I love them I feel like having those in your wardrobe you don't have to think too hard when you're getting dressed it's kind of like the center of attention all you have to do is make sure you're accessorizing so with two-piece sets i'm definitely like a anytime i see one that's great quality for a great price i'm on it now this set girl every season well every spring summer season anytime i say season that's what i'm talking about in this video every season spring summer season i pull this thing out i'm just like mind blown everywhere i go i'm getting compliments on it i picked this up from zara girl like 2017 2018 and the thing is about this i was gonna send this back because i was like oh girl she's too too expensive i think i paid like maybe one total for both pieces maybe like one 89 almost $200 and I was like that is crazy this is like a dupe to the Prada set around that same time Prada released a kimono with feathers I feel like Prada was kind of like the first brand to get into adding like the feathers to different things the shoes the clothes because they released this button down kimono I believe and Chris Jenner was Chris Jenner was like the first person to have it girl everybody was going crazy and that's around the time that I was working at sex everybody was coming in asking about it wanted to see it and then when I saw this on Zara for like $80 or $99 I was like I have to have it when I got it I was obsessed with it this is still something I feel like in my wardrobe it is literally timeless each season I've been having this like like I said from around 2017 to 2018 but I can still pull it out today and just like literally wear it anywhere and break necks. I also love the fact that with the pants and the top is very lightweight it's breathable I can wear this with some nice Oran sandals or a cute little sandal or I can still um dress it up with like a, a strappy heel or something so this is something that I was so happy to pull out now. I feel like I need to wear it now why it's not too hot because when it gets into like the June's and July's girl I feel like she's gonna be a little too hot because this is like a satin material and I'm not really a big satin girl because she's just not my vibe but this is my vibe it's fabulous it's bougie now I don't know what we're gonna wear this to we might wear this essence weekend it's gonna be hot as hell but we're gonna have to make it do what it do but this is something that I'm definitely looking forward to wearing all right so next up I have this pink suit that I picked up from H&M now I picked this suit, suit up girl also maybe I'm gonna say about two years I maybe picked this up during the pandemic I'm gonna say I picked this up during the pandemic and y'all I'm so happy I also have this now I pulled this to the forefront and I actually got a chance to finally wear it I wore it Easter Sunday I wore it to church and she was really cute now with these pants they are high-waisted which I absolutely love because if I don't want to wear it with the jacket I can wear it with something else and I like my um core sets or any sets if we're being honest especially if you're hippie and you have like hips and butt I like high-waisted pants they just give me like that security if I sit down I don't have to worry about the pants riding down and my underwear showing I don't want any of those issues so these pants are high-waisted they have stretch to it and it's this gorgeous pink color now I'm not really a big pink girl I like to add pink here and there that's why I don't really buy it that much but I feel like with this y'all I'm obsessed I did get the jacket a little oversized because when I buttoned it I don't want it to be too tight around the um butt area or the hip area I absolutely love this piece now I have this other idea with this 
when I wore it to church, I couldn't really give it what I wanted to give it because of course I'm in church. But with this suit, I have an idea of by the pants being oversized, not oversized, high-waisted, I have this idea. Y'all know that sequin Prada top is like a crop top. I think that would look so good with this, with a jacket. Oh my God, with like some cute little frames. But that sequin Prada top has just been literally living in my mind rent-free. And I think it'll be so cute with this because the pants are high-waisted and the crop top is gonna sit like literally right above the, um, the lining or the closure of the pants. I think that'll be so cute. But even if I don't wear it with a Prada crop top, I definitely wanna wear this with a crop tank. I can wear it with heels because the pants are I feel like these pants are the perfect um, length because I am short so I can wear it with heels or sandals or I want to try it with some sneakers so we're gonna try it with sneakers and see what she's giving because I want to dress it all the way down and give it like a real casual chic girl moment we'll see follow me on Instagram for the vibes next up I have my quarantine birthday dress now even hearing it that's just that sounds so crazy quarantine birthday girl during quarantine I did nothing for my birthday but when I was scrolling that's all we had to do during quarantine was shop I was scrolling on moda operandi and I saw this dress I was looking for this dress high and low because around that time this dress was like the it dress it was just like all over social media and I was like oh my god I have to have this dress I have no idea where I'm gonna wear it but I want it I feel like orange looks so good on my skin especially in the summertime because sometimes i like to sit out just to let my skin get a little darker and girl that tan it just gives me life and anytime i put orange on top of that it just looks so good so this dress i'm also going to get it altered i want to get maybe an inch inch or two cut off the bottom layer it is girl she's everything but it is a little for me, I feel like it's a little long. I want to show a little knee, and I'm short, so I feel like if I was taller, this length would be perfect. But for me, I want to get it altered just a little, and I'm also going to get it altered in the back. I want her to add maybe a zipper because this dress isn't big boob friendly. They have like this really thin ribbon that ties it together. Girl, she is not she's not it and I was also even think I'm looking at it I was also even thinking about getting this turned into just the top maybe take the complete bottom layer off and just use it as a top but I feel like I honestly feel like I would get more wear out of it if I get it turned into a top but I feel like this is something that I have to at least wear one or two times as a dress somewhere I have no idea where but I love this it's so vibrant y'all it's so beautiful and this dress is by rotate and i think i got this on sale girl this dress was retailing for maybe about 400 dollars during quarantine i paid like 89 dollars for this dress it was like on final sale and i was so surprised because the dress had just come out like that summer i was just mind blown and i couldn't leave it so so happy to have this this is also anytime i'm showing like my shoulders and chest i want my hair i feel i always say this i feel the prettiest when my hair is completely pulled back and especially when i'm showing like you know uh -huh. yeah i have a i have a vision in mind for this thing i'm also going to put a picture during quarantine for my birthday i um I went to take pictures and this dress girl wasn't going nowhere. We're in the middle of a pandemic, but I was like, this dress need a look. And I'm gonna show y'all the look that we came up with. It was very summertime. It was giving all of the vibes, the colors, and I was in a garden. So it was just appropriate. So yeah, girl, she's cute. I need y'all opinion. Comment down below, should I get it turned into a top? I'm looking at it. Should I get it turned into a top or should I keep it as a dress for maybe a good four four uses i don't know what how we're gonna get four uses out of it but if i swear if i turn this thing into a top today we can throw jeans on with it and also when i get it altered like maybe take two inches off the bottom i feel like jeans will look better with it right now it's a little too long to wear with jeans but if it was a top girl we will wear her out now the next dress is my I call it my vacation dinner dress. Anytime I'm going to like Mexico, I know I'm going on a tropical vacation or anything, I always pack this dress for like a dinner and she's always, girl, the center of attention. It's this neon orange summer gown. I got it from ASOS years ago, girl. Like, 
maybe 2016 like it's been years and i always take this <laughs> on vacation she's like the one that i know if we go to mexico okay one night for dinner i'm going to be wearing this dress so this dress is super super long but i didn't get it altered because i usually wear platforms anyway and as you guys are seeing in the video that i tried it on i had on platform so it like skims the ground perfect y'all with my summertime beach tan this dress is sickening this is not a dress that i would usually wear on an everyday everyday basis because i feel like one it's a neon orange it's not really like an everyday color for me it is it does give like mexico nighttime vibes beach dinner something like that she's very very pretty but this is some this is i always know this is my vacation dress so this always usually sits in like storage until we begin to travel but i had to show y'all this because girl a lot of you always say neon oranges is not your vibe girl neon orange looks so good on dark skin in the summertime do not sleep on neon colors in the summertime okay especially for like a cute little beach nighttime dinner i don't know what y'all be doing on vacation but yeah girl this is definitely gonna be a look now i don't know when i'm going to mexico i'm going on a tropical vacation but i feel like this summer we're definitely gonna pull her out all right now moving on to accessories i actually have them behind me um let's move on to bags the first bag that i have here is my gucci dionysus dionysus whatever mini now this bag y'all this is like my baby i would never ever ever get rid of her because this is the first um designer bag that i actually paid for for myself with my own coin and i find myself wearing this when i first got it i used to always wear it but i find myself wearing it more in like spring summer i think this is the perfect casual or the perfect neutral bag although it does have monogram i feel like this monogram is it's okay it's kind of like that piece that can go with anything i wear this bag guys with almost everything i find myself that's why i literally leave it out because i'm always picking it up this is a bag that i still get questions what i recommend it i would definitely still recommend this bag because i definitely love it it's not as popular as it was, but this is definitely for me a um, piece that will, I will, a piece that I will always have while I can't speak, and I still wear it to this day. Now the larger size I do not wear really in the um, spring summer. I keep her for like fall winter because she is a little on the larger size, and I feel like she just looks better with um sweaters and things like that now with this bag you can wear her spring summer fall winter it does not matter it does have um a long crossbody strap you can also wear the strap like double shoulder or double strap whatever i don't really wear it like that i like to drop it down and wear it as a crossbody bag because I don't know i just like it better but this is definitely a bag that i've been pulling for a lot more and i'm happy every time i pull this bag out she just makes me so happy girl and i also use this bag a lot when i'm traveling because this is like i said a bag that i can pick up she goes with everything i don't have to fight with her so if you're if you've been thinking about getting this bag or you've been looking at this bag i would definitely say go ahead and try it out now with this bag on the resale market this is a bag I would just say go ahead and pay the retail price for because on the resale market it'd be like $1,200, $1,300. This bag retails for $1,500. I would just say go ahead and get it um, at the retail price if they did not do a price increase, which I don't think they have. The next bag that I've been pulling for a lot more now is my um, Saint Laurent Sac de Jours. Right now, I'm um, currently wearing the yellow. Y'all, these bags are so good. This is probably my favorite favorite style of bag in my collection i told myself that i wouldn't purchase another one but if we're being honest i, I just want one more and i want it in the grain leather i've realized I, I like the grain leather better than the smooth leather i want it in orange the orange is sickening and i really want the orange right now i have it in the blue like a mint green which you guys fell in love with when i showed it in the blog and the yellow so i would like the orange after the orange I will, I, I'll be okay. I also realized in these bags, I personally wouldn't buy like a neutral, a black, a nude, or anything like that. I feel like this this style of bag is just better, or it looks better in color. So 
and it also has crossbody strap you can, or anything with a crossbody strap that i can actually detach change the strap out or just get rid of the strap altogether count me in please i actually have stuff in this bag because i'm actually wearing this bag now this just been my go-to bag right now and i like what the um sack is yours especially with the grain leather i don't have to worry about her too much if i beat like i don't try to beat her up but if she hit something by being grain you don't see any scratches it just it looks brand spanking new and she's mini but she still can hold a lot of things inside of it so this is a bag also that i would highly recommend if you're thinking about getting it or or anything now it just also depends on your preference like I said me I like the grain leather because I find you don't have to worry about it too much with the smooth leather I do see a little more wear and tear like with scratches and indentions and stuff like that so yeah I would recommend the grain you don't have to worry about it too much and the next bag that I also find myself pulling for a lot more with different looks is gonna be this little baby I picked this up from Zara girl when I went to Disney World like years ago and she reminded me of a Chanel bag but for like not even half of the price girl this bag was like 40 49 dollars it has this Chanel inspired chain which I absolutely love because I like the fact that they did the black. With the black, I can kind of like wear it with more versus if they did like a pink strap or a white strap, I feel like the black just giving more of like an edgy vibe that I can kind of like mix in with my wardrobe a little more. But lately I haven't been wearing it as like a crossbody or a shoulder bag. I like to pull the um strap in the inside and I kind of like wear it as a top handle. It just looks so thinking cute and this is also goes to show you you don't have to have like a whole collection of luxury bags or any like thing anything like that girl I cannot speak wow what is happening to G um in order to you know look cute so I usually wear it on my forearm girl this thing is just so cute look at this it's like oh, it's getting a little washed out the main color is like pink and you can see like a lot of black but it's like a tweed bag. Girl, she's so, so stinking cute. I absolutely love this bag. And I've been just literally pulling this bag out with a lot more. Because I'm realizing in the spring, some of y'all, I'm trying to get away from wearing black. But it is so hard for me not to wear black. I have so much black. So I find myself trying to accessorize with neons and very vibrant colors. So the black doesn't look as harsh in the... um the warmer months so this is definitely a bag that I've been picking up to kind of like complement my black but also complement any and everything it looks also very very good with um white baby doll dresses now with the white baby doll dresses I usually wear it as a shoulder bag it's just it's just cute and it holds a lot and yeah I like it so yeah as of right now these are actually the bags that I find myself I've been went, reaching for a little more so yeah all right, so sticking to accessories, during the spring summer months, one thing I've realized, even when I was switching over my wardrobe, that I was so happy to kind of like reach for a little more, although I reach for them all year round, scarves. I do not mind paying full price for scarves because I always get my cost for wear. And I also feel like people sleep on scarves. If in the summertime, I'm, I like hats, but I find I sweat a lot like in my head area. I wear wigs. I sometimes I don't feel like wearing a hat. So I would love to be the summertime hat girl I'm not that's why I invest in scarves because scarves just will really take your look to the next level even if you don't have a hat to match a look pull out a scarf a scarf you can wear it on your head you can wear it as a cover-up I usually wear my scarves as head wraps though but girl scarves can do so many different things it depends on your body like this one here this is a Fendi scarf that I got like forever ago and look at that I was obsessed with this scarf because one I didn't have any colors like this I'm not gonna open it because it is huge like this Dior scarf this is the vintage version of the Dior scarf but the crazy part is I was on the hunt for this scarf y'all for a very 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 long time I wanted the vintage version because I couldn't find it anywhere and the new release um Dior scarf sorry I'm losing my thought I didn't like them and it was so crazy as soon as I purchased this Dior re-released it so you can actually pick up this one 
a, I believe it's very similar to this and they also have the burgundy you can pick it up in the store but for what I paid for this I don't think I would I think I paid like $80 for this and the new scarves are maybe like three four hundred dollars but if we're being honest my favorite scarves are going to be my um, McQueen scarves as you can tell I'm like obsessed these are super duper fun and in the summertime they just give my looks like I usually use these only as head scarves because these are um, silk they're very very lightweight they're very very sheer so and they're kind of small so I wouldn't use these as cover-ups this one is red and pink which I don't even know why I got this because I think red and pink together is just such a hideous combo but I guess maybe because the pink is not as pink pink but yeah I also have it in the red and orange probably definitely one of my faves so good look how pretty the colors are it's just perfect and fun for um the spring summer months and a lot of people I know you don't really a lot of people don't like the skulls and stuff like that but for me I don't care because I think it is signature McQueen and it's also fabulous and I actually wore this one yesterday to lunch this is a what is this a yellow and I would say like a cream which is so pretty and see if you fall back you can't really even tell that it's like skull heads because the color is just so distracting and pretty but I feel like when it comes to scarves that's definitely something that I reach for a lot I have um a lot of scarves girl because I feel like scarves is just don't sleep on scarves and what they can do for your look especially on vacation sis let me tell you something on vacation you know you don't want to wear makeup you really don't feel like doing your hair you just want to put on like sunglasses but you feel like your, your look is missing something wrap a scarf around your head girl and thank me later all right now moving on to shoes now these are the shoes that I feel like some of them I can wear a little more that's why we pulled them out and the other ones I wear them a little too much during the spring summer seasons and the first pair they're definitely gonna be these platforms these are some Gucci platforms y'all I had a moment with Gucci a few years ago back when um they had their first release with their um new creative director Alessandro Michelle I believe his name is I was everything that he was putting down I was picking up and these are definitely a pair of platform sandals they're like this espadrille vibe with a Gucci web going across I thought these were sick like I absolutely love them I love the height let me put one down because they are a little heavy girl look at this this is a shoe that I feel like in my wardrobe when I saw it I was like this is timeless I love the fact that it doesn't have any logos or anything if you know the Gucci web then it's kind of like okay but it doesn't have names or anything so I really really love that I love the gold accent I listen when I'm shopping I shop for my body type I shop for my skin tone girl and gold on my skin tone is just so good especially like this Gucci gold is like this exaggerated yellow gold I love this on like certain things like with these shoes yes on jewelry no it looks a little too fake a little too cheap but I absolutely love these now what I also love about this this is like my go-to shoe in the summertime this is like I call her my support system I'll say that when I go out and I'm having a good time with my girls and we're just doing it and you know you start day drinking when I stand up I don't want to have to support myself I want my shoe to support me you need to do your job okay I didn't pay all this money for me to be supporting you you need to be supporting me okay and this girl baby if you, as you can see look at the arch it's like nothing I feel like I'm wearing like a little mini tata heel she supports me I don't have to do too much I don't have to worry about oh girl are we gonna be stumbling no this shoe is just so comfortable I can literally walk in this thing all day but also with this shoe this is a daytime shoe I personally would not wear this at nighttime unless I'm on like vacation a tropical vacation somewhere like that but just to say I'm going like out to dinner or something on a regular day like a Saturday or something this is not really a, um, a nighttime shoe for me but in the daytime you girl I wear these shoes out okay so definitely got my cost for wear with these things now the next two pair of shoes let me put them down here the next two pair of shoes I have are these Gucci Marmont mules now let me tell you something I got the, I love them so much that I had to get them in the pink and the green the green is not showing up on screen I think the camera is washing well, the lights are washing them out there is like this green green very vibrant I'm not gonna say Bottega green it's more of an emerald green and the, the pink is more of a 
mm, it's like a fuchsia pinks because they're getting washed out but these shoes y'all definitely got my cost per wear with these this anytime soon as spring come i'm running to these they're so comfortable because they have these little block heels i can shop in them I can wear them to Target, I can wear them to Starbucks, I can wear them to brunch, I can wear them to lunch. I can wear these things anywhere and they can like dress something up or down. I even wore these one time, I was going for like a real casual vibe, I wore these with some cute joggers. I forgot the name of the joggers, I got them from Aritzia. Uh, the look was so good. Now with these shoes I also anklet. Anklet is going to be your best friend, like some gold anklets. because. I feel the gold anklets, it just dress them up a little more and it get it accents the um the Gucci Marmont logos. Basically I come to say I'm so happy I got this. This is also around a period of time when Gucci was putting down things. I was picking it up because I was just so obsessed and I thought these were so stinking cute. These, uh, girl, they came out in so many different colors, but I was like, okay, we're going to get two. I also wanted the black. I'm happy I didn't get the black because I don't feel like I would have gotten my money's worth with the black or even worn them because I, I run to these a little more. And I'm not a pink girl, but I'm happy I got these because this is like that perfect little pop when I want to add like some oomph to a look so definitely happy i got these and i'm showing y'all these because girl i wear these things i could look at the bottom i wear these things out every season like literally all right now the next pair of shoes don't judge me girl i didn't wear these a lot because one they were uncomfortable but two i could not leave them i had to have them me anytime i break I break in a shoe i have to wear it literally for seven days straight i wear it everywhere whether i'm going to the grocery store i wear it to run errands post office whatever i have to do nail shop i'm gonna put on those shoes to really break them in and that y'all it always works it works with my gucci it worked with my gucci platforms it worked with these um saint laurent sandals i had you have to wear them for seven days straight everywhere it works and i did it with these shoes and it worked y'all prepare yourself because they're so good okay and they're the aqua zero bird of paradise sandals this is not everybody's vibe oh but it's mine it's just extra and it is just look at that it is girl hold on I gotta come oh that is so cute they also come in a nude and black and they come in yellow and black I'm on the hunt for the yellow and black because I feel like it's between me getting the these in yellow and black or it's me getting the Manolo Blahnik um, slides, which I'm obsessed with those. Literally every time I wear these shoes, someone is asking me where they're from. Oh my God, how cute. One lady took pictures of them because she collects birds of paradise. And she's like, oh, this look like bir a bird of paradise plant. And I told her that's the name of the shoe. Girl, first of all, I'm so mad that you can't, it's, you can't really see the color. I think you can see the color more if I hold them like this versus like this. So they're this, um, they're actually silk sandals. They're embellished. They have these feathers on them. I'm not sure what type of feather this is. I haven't had any issues with the feathers falling off or anything, but this shoe y'all, she's so good. It always adds that little extra oomph to a look. Cause I, like I always tell y'all, I love a statement sandal. I love the way it elevates any look, even if I have on a white baby doll dress, because even with like baby doll dresses, sometimes you have to go a little extra with the shoe or the bag this shoe right here she does it every time every single time now i had to really break them in because the toe box right here she is tight okay these shoes the craftsmanship i cannot lie impeccable but they are made to like perfection they are made to literally be like there's no give you need to get your size i got these in a 39 and a half because the 40 wasn't available and i got these on like the tail end of when this shoe was going kind of out of production with aqua zero i realized they shoes don't be in production for a long periods of time it's kind of like when you see it you better get it because you can go back a few months or you can go back like a few weeks sometime girl and they were like oh these are sold out and i don't know if they're going to be back in production and it's just like ugh. with aqua zero they always have very fun sandals all of their shoes i feel like i'm obsessed with the brand because all of their shoes are the like pieces that you'll have in your wardrobe for years and years to come and they'll just be like statement um 
pieces and pieces that you can definitely be like i'm happy i have these because this will look good with this 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 and this and this with these shoes i always say these i know this is not gonna be everybody vibe but girl these are my vibe okay can y'all just see me clacking around in these things oh they're so sick i definitely want the yellow i definitely want the yellow and if you're an extra girl like me you get it you get it now in this video i didn't show any accessories because with my accessories i pretty much wear them all year round like whether it's a bracelet a necklace or whatever like my um air mask cuffs i wear these things girl almost every single day whether i'm wearing the extra wide the narrow or the um wide i'm always picking them up so you guys kind of like always see my accessories but if you guys are interested in a full like favorite accessories video i'm not really sure how that'll work just comment down below let your girl know all right so that's pretty much all that i have to show you guys in this video i hope that this video was helpful the purpose of the shop my closet type thing is to, for me to really see what i have so i don't constantly buy the same thing or i don't buy things that i'm not wearing one thing i was realizing when i go in my closet and i was getting rid of things i'm like oh wait i don't like this style anymore so when i go in the store it's so easy for me to be like oh my god this is so cute but i'd be like wait you just got rid of two of the same styles we're not buying this some items i'm realizing me personally i can like them in the store but that doesn't mean i need to have them in my closet it's okay to like something and not buy it so doing things like this shopping my closet it helps me when i'm shopping it helps me stay on track and be like okay i will i know for a fact if i pay full price for this scarf I'm gonna actually wear it because I wear my scarves constantly. Okay, if I buy these type of sandals, I'm gonna wear these because I like this style of sandal. I like very flamboyant and just fun, vibrant sandals. So it just helps me know, I guess stay up to date with my style and see what you like. Because sometimes we can just go for the, com the things that make us comfortable in our wardrobe and not knowing that Oh wait, I grew out of that like two years ago. I don't even like that anymore. That's why I don't buy jeans anymore because I don't wear them. I have all of these jeans and I don't wear them. So doing things like this, I always tell people shop your closet before you buy things because it's gonna help you understand yourself and your style a little more. So yeah girl, that's all that I have for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a cute little comment down below and I will see you girls in the next one.